McMaster University played host to the OUA Men's Volleyball Final Four this past weekend. Winners of each of the semifinal matches on Friday would punch their ticket to the national championship. The first semifinal featured the Waterloo Warriors and the Western Mustangs. And after the first set went to the Mustangs, Waterloo leading in the second when Sean McKay sets Garrett May far side, but Uchino Ofoa comes out with the big block. Then, the Warriors with more great defense, Tyler Motherwell with the block on Luke Sim, then it's Flodar Kazimiaka finishing it off with the stop of his own, and Waterloo ties it up at one. But that's as close as they would get, as Western rolls on to take the next two sets quite handily, sealing their spot in the OUA final, as well as the CIS championship. In the other semifinal matchup, it was the number one seed McMaster Marauders taking on the York Lions. First set, Yori Mantha recovers the block, then gets it right back and hammers it off the top of the York block, and the Marauders are out to an early lead. Then it's Austin Campion Smith with another set to Mantha, this time on the strong side, and he catches the back line. That's another one of his 14 kills in the match. Then on set point, York trying to keep it alive, but Ray Zetto is wide on his attempt. McMaster takes the first set. They'd go on to sweep the Lions 3-0 and advance to the OUA final where they would defeat the Western Mustangs in four sets to claim the OUA championship. Also happening this weekend was the OUA Women's Volleyball Final Four at York University. After an exciting day of semi-final action on Friday, the Toronto Varsity Blues and the Ryerson Rams found themselves in the OUA bronze medal game. In the first, Blues down early, Charlotte Sider finds a hole in the Rams for the service ace. Then it's Sider again, this time Emily Varga can't handle it. Sider had four aces in the match and the Blues come back to take the first set 25-20. Second set now, and Toronto kept on rolling. Julie Bellamure sets Sider, and she hammers it off the Rams' libero for the point. Then, after a long rally, Bellamure sets up Sarah Chapin, who threads it to the back corner. The Blues would go on to take it in straight sets over the Ryerson Rams, capturing OUA bronze. To the championship match, where the Ottawa GGs and the York Lions battled for OUA gold as well as a berth in the CIS championship. After the GGs took the first two sets, York looking to stay alive, Melissa Paradez puts up the block on Caitlin Wire, then Michelle Pierce heads to the weak side to hit the cross court kill and the Lions have the lead in the third. Then on set point, Brandy Wilkerson goes back court and Veronique Kea can't handle it. The Lions shift the momentum, taking two straight sets, sending it to a winner take all fifth set. And York off to a good start. Wilkerson from the back court and she fools the GG Libero. Then it's Wilkerson again from the back court, but this time she puts it into the net. A costly error for the Lions and Ottawa would capitalize. Miriam English paints the baseline for the service ace, the GGs up by one. Then Ottawa with championship point, Christina Grail sets Karina kruger Schwanky strong side and she hammers it to the backcourt. The Ottawa GGs manage to hold off the York Lions from a massive comeback to win the OUA championship in five sets. They will now represent the Ontario Conference at the CIS Championship in Sherbrooke. What a game, what a game. We had the first two sets and York did an outstanding job coming back. And then we, we had to fight our way back and, and the fifth set was was amazing too where they, they did have a lead and it all came down to getting together, focusing one point at a time, playing as a big family, getting each other, trusting each other, believing that it was gonna be possible and it, it all worked out. For Ontario University Athletics, I'm Chad Leach.